Joe, Joe, Joe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cloud Joseph. In case you are new here, kindly consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. You know, guys. And actually, I'm very much grateful, very much thankful for my 400 subscribers. Thank you so much for always supporting this village boy. And actually, I'm coming live from the lake. Yeah, this is the lake here. This actually is Lake Victoria, one of the largest lakes here in Africa. You know, it actually covers around three countries: Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. And with so many, around 95 plus, 900 plus uh, islands. Actually, it has Kiwa Island here. It has Ukerewe in Tanzania. It has Migingo in, uh, in 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 Kenya. It has mm, like so many islands and light. You can see that place. That's a, a big water body mass. You know, it's a body mass of water. And this, I'm at a place known as Nyandiwa. You know, this is the best beautiful place here to be, guys. And let me know back in your countries, uh, back in your countries or back in your continents, do such lakes exist? And what are some of the beneficial from the lake you know actually this lake is one of the most most uh, income source of income to the country because uh, the lake actually the lake some of the fish they come from these lake sardines actually it's the main source of transportation you can tell guys this is how beautiful this lake is lake victoria and i'm in homer bay you know this is a beautiful place and maybe we want to know how for those who did the geography we were we want to know how it was formed so guys stay tuned i'm going to show you how everything it is you know this lake actually it was formed by down warping if i'm not wrong yeah by, by down warping actually down warping as well by uh, like a place goes down and the other comes up some two hits and it goes down yeah actually i just feeling the breeze from the lake actually this is a chilling place because when you you like like and this heat you know it's like at the topmost is this way then you wanna feel the breeze from from the lake yeah like the liver and wing wing like let me like keep quiet and you wanna birds chipping yeah birds chipping that that like the motion of the water you know actually you can you can see how those currents are yeah those are the motions and may later on i want to be showing how this lake is been is beneficial to the country or to the community because the source of income uh, like produces sardines fish a lot of fish actually it's the biggest source of nile patch yeah let me know in the comment section if nile patch do you people take nile patch and uh, do the nile patch exist back in your rivers or in your lakes back there in your countries yeah because nile patch is the, some big fish you know and nile patch is the one of the fish that uh, is very very beneficial yeah because it it produces what we call the swim bladder yeah and the swim bladder is very beneficial to the community and to the whole country actually worldwide you know the sara and the swim bladder yeah it may it used to make such as yeah such as all such as is the like for those who know the meaning of such as actually let me to the comments uh, the, to the comment down below so that you wanna know the meaning of such as but such as such as are the like a thread like uh, string that are just used to like when someone is just cut or in surgeries yeah it, it, they are actually known as surgical searchers yeah surgical searchers the surgical searchers are made from the swim bladder and the swim bladder comes from the nile patch you know you can tell that nile patch comes from uh, the lake as you can see people there right there that just you can tell that just using that boat actually that's the boat yeah the boat maybe i want to zoom it for you to see yeah that's the boat right there and they are just like trying to make a living from that place you know from this lake yeah, and our main topic is about such as so the surgical such as when one have a minor cut and is going to be sued like they use the, 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 the those such as surgical such as to like in Swahili you call it kushona yeah kushona 
so those trends that you, that you when you go to the hospital when you have uh, to the hospital when you have uh, a big big minor cut or a big injury and someone told that we want to like we want to be he have 16 trades so that he want to be sued yeah you want to be sealed so th those threads that are made from swim bladder and that swim bladder comes from the fish which known as nile patch yeah and that nile patch comes from this big lake known as uh, lake victoria actually this lake victoria is uh, in in here like those days back it used to be called lake nyanza lake nyanza actually here it is in nyanza province actually and it used to be called lake nyanza yeah Lake Nyanza, like when you see that place, you know, when you see that place, actually it's like it's inf infinite. You can say it's just infinite, you know. You can't see that place. Actually, that's called Lolwe in in Luo. Yeah, although I'm not a Luo, but I'm trying my best to learn some of the tradition and how these things is. Actually, uh, this lake. When it's just like at the far end where you don't see place, it's called Lolwe. Where you don't see, it's called Lolwe. Go watch my previous videos that I made uh, about Luo land. Uh, with my, one, I did an interview with, with I did an interview with, with uh, one of the old men here, and he told me that a place where one can't see is actually known as Lolwe. Lolwe is a place where you can't see, and for sure you can tell how it is. And right here. It's the beautiful sun, you can tell. That's the beautiful sun right there. And that's how everything is. Yeah, and a lot of people coming from the lake, like they're trying to do. And actually, I want to be showing you how everything it is, how the sirens are being like dried up, how people go to fish. Go watch my previous videos about these guys. You know, these are just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And for those who did geography, actually, this is for you. Yeah, this is for you and for those who like you need to understand more about the lake. Let me in the comment section and you'll be like educated here, you know, because this lake it was formed by down warping. Yeah, initially like it was like some of the rivers came up and down warping, down warping is like where let me say like these two like this stone, you know this stone right yeah so this stone it cracks here and another cracks here right and due to comp uh, like like not compression of force but uh, we call it the tectonic force yeah i can't say the tectonic force yeah yeah the compression of force are the one which pushes that pushes together those are compression of force but tension of force leaves apart tensional force so this like this way it's tensional force but this way when you press this way that's you're just compressing so those cause compression of force if it could be done by compression or compression it could has come up but due to some of the forces that are called tensional force actually tensional tensional force leaves and that one leaves this way so it sinks this upper part sinks and Due to the it's sinking down warping, it emerged to a place what known as Lake Victoria. So that's how it was done. Yeah, though I I did that geography when I was very very young those years back. Let's meet at the comment section if I'm explaining this right. Yeah, this is the stone, and you can tell how this place is. It's really beautiful, really beautiful, really interesting. Like you wanna come and chill to this stone here this way, and start listening to the breeze like coming the breeze from the lake yeah fresh air birds chipping like if you have your own laptop like this place like yeah chilling with your, your cold drink here you know actually you're just most welcome to these african countries like kenya here you know it's the best best place like best scenic you can tell from that place guys those are the hills for hiking you know best hills for hiking best hills like to go have fun you know like to explore like like on that hill to the other side is a game park yeah it's a game park you're gonna go and see some of the wild animals some of the things you know it's be like beautiful beautiful nature you know modern nature actually this is africa 
the best African. Let me know in the comment section if back in your countries do such lakes exist and what are the names of your lakes back there in your countries. This is Lake Victoria. In in in, in local we call it Lake Nyanza. It actually covers three countries: Kenya, uh, Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. Yeah. And we share the same same lake and it has borders. The funny thing is that this lake it has borders Inside there it has borders. That's the funny thing <laughs> Those people watching me from Uganda Say hi to the comment section and let us, uh, let us know what that some of the beneficial uh, the Beneficial about this lake. Yeah, we have known that this lake was formed by downwapping yeah so guys we have come to the end of this video and if it's your very first time guys kindly consider subscribing liking and sharing this video you know it's very very interesting and i hope it's wanna educate someone i hope it's wanna like it wanna inspire someone to travel to africa to travel to such places like this you're most welcome to this homer bay county yeah this is africa actually coming live from this lake yeah so we want to say ciao ciao or bye bye from africa bye bye guys let's meet the next amazing content and without forgetting let me know what do you call this what do you call maybe it's sunny let me do this how do you call this how do you call this at your comment uh, at your countries back at your countries this one how do you call it yeah and where does it grow yeah so Let's meet the next amazing content. Bye-bye.